Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler to a haul video. So you may be thinking, Emily, how are you getting so many puzzles when you are on a no-buy? And one, I am struggling with my no-buy. I may have bought a Wentworth puzzle online today, but these puzzles I did not buy, I swapped them. So if you missed the last video, it is all about the puzzle swap that I went to recently. So I'll leave that down below. It, will pro it was probably posted a couple days ago. Um, but to this video is going to be all the things that I swapped my puzzles for. And so these are all new to me puzzles, but done before and previously loved. And I am so excited for them. So we're just going to get into this. There are a lot here. There's a lot of different styles, a lot of different brands, some new brands to me. And so I'm excited. I love, I love the idea of having a circular economy when it comes to puzzle love. And so we are just going to get into this and I hope you enjoy. So maybe a lengthy because there's over 20 puzzles here to talk about. So grab a coffee, tea, hot chocolate, water, wine. I have some coffee today. So we are just going to get into this. So first up, I decided to go with this one because I have it, but I'm missing a piece and I really want the full puzzle. So this is the Jayco Abracadabra puzzle and it is super fun, a very bright, colorful, long, chunky, thick, large and in charge pieces that I really enjoyed. And I know it's a puzzle for children. I know it's only 200 pieces, but it's so fun. It, it's just like a quick little puzzle that I really enjoyed, but mine was missing a piece when it was fresh and brand new. And so I traded for this one because I wanted the full puzzle, which I'm excited for. So I did get this guy and I may keep my box and just transfer the puzzle pieces just because this box looks like it has a little bit more wear and tear, but it's a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to keep my box, but keep these pieces. And so that is my plan for the Jayco puzzle. Next, I'm like, I'm so excited. Um, we have this one and actually did I, I swapped for this one. That's right. Um, so this is from Cobble Hill, not quite my normal style, but I've been recently branching out into the photograph landscape world. I know who am I, but this one looked beautiful. I feel the Washington vibes. <laughs> That's what got me. Um, so this is from Cobble Hill. It's called Nature's Mirror. And here we are. It is this beautiful landscape where the, even though it's a mirrored image, it's two different textures. So you have the leaves of the trees here in the sky, which is very different. And then you have like a blurry version of the puzzle underneath. So even though it is mirrored, it's not identical. So I think it's very doable. There's like a little rowboat right here. It does, it just reminds me of Washington. I have no idea where this puzzle is supposed to be based out of, but it's just green and lovely. And I feel like it'd be really pretty. So Cobble Hill, I've had mixed relationships with. I sometimes have a, a fit issue, but in general, I like them. This next one is by Pomegranate and it's from Charlie Harper. It's called Bird Ecopia, and I have done a Charlie Harper one before where it was the it was like blue and yellow fish. I feel like that one's pretty popular, but this one looks so fun. It is bright, it's colorful, it's artsy, it's very modern, and I really like this artwork a lot. So super fun, very colorful, very bright, and it's a thousand pieces. I have, again, love-hate relationship with pomegranate as well, similar to Cobble Hill where the fit is kind of on or off and I also have issues with the printing being pixelated, but I'm excited. I love how thick and chunky the pieces are, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure I'm going to love that one and it's super cool. Next, we have this one, which, which is actually in like the free area. So if people are either not trading or they just want to donate a puzzle that they've completed they can and it's just like a free for the taking so this one was in that area i didn't trade for it it was just one that i was able to get and again it's cobble hill and again it's like a landscapey theme not too worried about this one because it is only 500 pieces it is a farm scene super cute it's called it's called holsteins and so here it is. It's just like a very sweet puzzle. I feel like it'd be like a good like afternoon in like the cooler months. I don't know, I just really liked it. And it again, 500 pieces. I like having smaller piece counts sometimes because sometimes you just wanna do a couple hours in the evening and call it a day. And so I got that one. 
Next we have this one, which may be very difficult and I may regret, but let's see, it's a thousand pieces. It's doable. Um, it's doable. It's from Gallison, so usually they have only twos for their puzzle piece shape, so may make it a bit trickier, but there's a lot of words in the puzzle. Let me just show you what it looks like. It's called Astrology, and it is metallic, as you can see, but it's also like this gradient. It's not even a rainbow. It's a gradient galaxy, and there, again, there's a lot of words with the different foils. So this one, I... Thought it was really pretty and I'm excited for it. Yeah, Allison, I don't mind. You know, I love their images. Quality, you know, but that's okay. Next, we have another Gallison puzzle, but another really fun image. So it's a thousand pieces. It's called Houseplant Jungle. It kind of reminds me of that one I did recently from Antelope where it's all cactuses, but this one is all plants. And it's very funny that I chose this puzzle because I kill every plant that I own. But, you know, I can have a puzzle about plants and not have to worry about them. So super bright, very colorful. Doesn't look like any of the plants are the same. So it looks very doable, even though there is a lot of green. I just feel like this is super fun and I'm excited for it. But this one is from one of my favorite brands, New York Puzzle Company. It's a thousand pieces and honestly, I was this close to buying one this month when they were having their big 50% off sale. This was one of the ones in there that I was really wanting. So I'm excited to have this for free pretty much besides swapping a puzzle. Um, and so this is from their sunset line and it's called Cabin Collage. And it's almost like a children's art project where they took construction paper, cut them out and made this little scene. So it is a tree with a mountain and a sailboat and a cabin. And I love the bright colors. I have done one from the Sunset line before. And so I'm not sure if it's similar, but the one I did before was like more artsy than I was expecting. This one looks pretty distinct lines, but large areas of one color. So we'll see how it goes, but I am excited for it, especially since this literally was in my cart just a couple days ago, but I didn't buy it. And I'm so glad I didn't because one, I'd be breaking my no buy, two, I wouldn't have, I would have missed out on this one. So that is awesome. Next, we have one from Buffalo Games, and this one is so fun. So it's from Art of Geno Peoples, and it's called, and it's called Beach Camp. And it's a thousand pieces, super bright, very colorful, very, I don't know, nostalgic to me. I love the colors. I love like the sunsetty colors where the sky, which looks so fun. You guys know I love to do sky. Um, so the sunset is beautiful with like the purpley and orange clouds. I just think this is lovely. I feel like it will photograph really well. And I really like this image a lot. I like the little camper too. One of me and Dave's like bucket list items or retirement plans is to go camping in a van or an RV like for full time. You know, that's like one of our goals in life. Um, so this is like totally up my alley. I'm excited for it. We have this one, another Gallison find, but it's only 500 pieces. It is called Wonder and Bloom. It's sweet. It is another one with a lot of plants on it. So it's like I have ambitions to be a plant person. I just can't do it. <laughs> um, but here we are. It's super fun, very, it's totally my style, you know? It's, col it's colorful, it's illustrated, it's modern looking. It's just a plant store, I'm assuming, with this really fun flooring, which reminds me of Balboa Park. Um, but I like it. It's cool. I, again, Galson, not my favorite, but for 500 pieces and for like a swap option, I don't mind it too much. We have this one, which I'm so curious about. So this is from Seiko, which I'm surprised about. It's called Shanty Town. And it's kind of reminds me of like a Charles Wasaki type of image, but it's the brand, the artist is Carol Dyer and it's similar vibes. You know, it's like that town, very old school type scene, but I don't know if you can see, I'm sure you've already seen it, but it's cork, cork pieces. So I did open it up when I was there and it is, it's cork pieces. I'm just going to show you so you can see. I am so excited for these. It feels incredible. The front side, pretty shiny. 
but then on the back it's cork so I have a feeling it's going to have like a really good fit and I am so excited for this so we'll see how it goes but it's only 500 pieces looks like a pretty easy image I just I'm very curious I feel like I'm going to love it and I'm excited I'm excited for this one all right one pile down next pile come on over and I feel like every single one of these every single one of these is a winner I am so excited for them some really good brands some new brands and so let's just get into this we have this one which is from Seiko and not my favorite brand but it's only 300 pieces the artist is Kate Reese and let me see what is it called I don't know the name of it so it might be Kate Reese I don't know I don't know what the name of it is but it looks like it's had a long life there's a few different like thrift store stickers on here but look how bright and shiny the box is um, but bright colorful illustrated it was totally up my alley 300 pieces definitely only going to take me like an hour maybe less but I thought it was super fun and I was into it so I'm excited for this one what does it say bonus bonus puzzle poster inside Another one where I'm going to say I'm very excited about, maybe my favorite out of the whole bunch, I think is going to, I don't know, it's one of my favorites, but it's from a brand I've never done before, but has been on my wish list for over a year. It's from Better Co., which I have heard mixed things about. So if you have done them, please let me know your thoughts and experience down below. But I've never tried them. I love their images, but it just... I usually only liked one or two images at a time and I didn't want to spend the amount on shipping to get it. It was a whole thing, but I saw this one and she was into one of my puzzles. I was into this puzzle and so it worked out well. It's called Feeling Groovy and it is like a music scene, like a music studio scene. We have some guitars, we have a trumpet, we have a drum set, some bongos, we have a piano right here or a keyboard, super fun love it there's a little record player over here i just love the image so much um if you guys are new here i was originally a music major when i was in college and my instrument is not on here i was a saxophone player which by the way total tangent but i'm trying to convince dave to join a band when we moved to washington we never did one here because their their practice times was at like 10 p.m at night and we just we'd rather sleep um, so we never did it here, but I am very interested in joining a band up there and we can start playing again. He plays the trombone, if you're curious. I play the saxophone, so I think it'd be fun. Anyways, about the puzzle, I think it's cute. I love the image. I love the box and I'm very excited about this one. So wish me luck. I've never tried the brand, but I'm curious. Next, we have a brand I have done before, and I enjoyed fine. You know, it was a good puzzle. I would buy more from them, but I, I feel like I didn't because of maybe the price point or I don't know. But this is from Puzzledly. I actually do have a video about this brand already. It's called Be Groovy. It's only 500 pieces, but look how fun. I remember it being super shiny. I didn't mind it, but I don't think I needed to buy like a ton from the brand. But this image, super fun, very bright, very colorful. The colors, like, look at that. Oh, you have a nice close-up. Isn't that fun? Very shiny, but fun. Next is one that actually has been on my wish list for, again, over a year. It's been on my Amazon wish list, but it also was on my wish list video from a long time ago. The brand is Fred, and I do own another Fred puzzle. I just haven't done it yet, which I have Galaxy Cat. This one... <laughs> I love it. So it is only 500 pieces and it's called Black Cat. I'm assuming it's a square puzzle, but it's just like a black cat within a bunch of plants. And I love this image a lot. And I've never tried the brand, but I'm curious about them. Again, I have another one from them. I haven't dove into that one because Galaxy Cat, if you've seen it, it's like cats and galaxy and treats it's very quirky but i love the image so much and i just haven't done it for some reason but i have this one too now and i'm excited about them this is definitely a brand i want to do a dedicated video on probably next year 
um, but I need to put it on the schedule because I love this one so much and I'm very, I love so many of their images. So I think this will be a brand that I have my eye on. So this one here is for a brand I have two of. A brand is Bluebird, which is the same company or it's like the sister company to Graphica, which is the puzzle that I did when we were in the puzzle convention. Um, so I'm excited to try this one. So it is a French brand, it's called Bluebird, and they have a ton of different more like artsy puzzles. But I really liked this one, we were trading and, oh it says it's made in Poland. Oh it's made in Poland but it is a French brand, okay. Um, but it's super fun, love the sky, love the, the illustration, you know, it's not super cartoonsy, it just looks very artsy and I like it a lot. So. This one I think will be fun. Did I say what it was called? Shinagua on the Tokyado, 1832. All right, we only have six left. Oh, I feel like I've been filming forever. Um, this one here is a circular puzzle and I don't remember which one I trade her, traded her for. This one is called Votes for Women. So this one is just a really special puzzle, maybe because we also just voted. Um, but it's called Votes for Women by Ibu. It's a circular puzzle. All these women's helped with the women's suffrage movement to help us have the right to vote. And so I just think it's a really cool concept and I just really like the colors, love the words, love the style. And so I just really thought this was a good find. And it's only five hundred pieces, not gonna be super long and hard, but I think it's cool. I think I actually traded her for the Planet Earth one, which is the one with all the um, endangered animals. I almost felt like we were like trading, I don't know. I almost felt like we were trading causes, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but it was, it was cool, I like that puzzle a lot. This one here is so fun. So this is another circular 500 piece Ibu puzzle called Moon Dance. And look how bright, oh my gosh, again, it's just a bunch of women dancing in the moonlight, playing guitar, having like a little seance type deal, um, but I just loved it so much. I love the colors, and I think this will be super fun, and I'm, I'm excited for both of those. We now have one from White Mountain, and it looks like it's completely brand new. I don't remember what I traded her for, but it was, she didn't mind the trade, so I don't know. Um, but this one is a thousand pieces. It's called Love Stamps. And I'm not a huge collage puzzle person, but I kind of like this because it's, you know, it's just a bunch of stamps. So it's nothing like crazy. And White Mountain Puzzles can go kind of wild with their collages, like the 1980s ones that I did. So I like that this one is much simpler. And I like the different stamps, you know. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a bunch of love stamps. Oh, I get it. It's called Love Stamps, but it's actually Love Stamps. That's cute, I like these a lot. Um, so that's cool, anyways. Next we, and then finally we have three Ravensburger puzzles, all different piece counts, and all three are lovely. This one here is a 300 piece and it's called, let's see, Into a New World. And I just really thought this was beautiful. Um, this, I have done one other 300 piece one from Ravensburger. Loved it. It was so fun. Such chunky, thick pieces. Big pieces, like big surface area pieces. Like even though it's 300 pieces, it takes up a lot of space. Um, but this one is beautiful. Hopefully you can see that. So there's like almost like a, a teleport into the other world. And... I just think it's so lovely. So you're going through like this little portal, not really, but like a gate of some sort. And it's just like open vast scene. I just love the colors and I feel like this is going to be really fun to do. So I'm excited for this one. Next we have a 500 piece Ravensburger. This one is kind of so fun. Um, it's food related. So it's called, it's called Just Desserts. And that's exactly what it is. It's just like a bunch of desserts and sundaes. Love the colors, love the smaller piece count, you know. Um, I just think it'll be fun. I like I like the image a lot. Um, so almost has like vintage vibes, you know. And then finally, the last one and one of my favorites. Again, Ravensburger, thousand pieces this time, and it is called Needlework. And I don't do much knitting. 
I actually grew up crocheting. Um, I tried knitting once, wasn't very good at it, but I did do crocheting. Anyways, this one's called Needlework, and look how bright and fun this one is. So bright and colorful, love the image a lot, love the colors. I think this would be very doable. It's almost like a collage puzzle where there's like a lot of stuff happening, but it just looks so fun. Anyways, those are all the puzzles. I feel like I've been here forever, so thank you so much for tuning into this video. I don't know if I'll have many of these on the docket for dedicated videos right now, but I am excited to do them, and especially some of the smaller piece counts in the late in the evening. I'm excited for all these new finds. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you are interested in puzzle swaps, again, I'll leave that video down below. If you're new here and want to see more of my haul videos, I actually have a whole playlist. So I'll leave that down below as well. And if you're new, I would love if you subscribed. That's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.